so welcome to the Sky Food channel. Today I will show you some uh, pictures of the insect that is uh, most commonly eaten in our Western societies, in this so-called civilized industrialist, industrialized uh, nations, Western Europe, uh, USA, Canada, and so on. So, um, and it's an insect that is widely eaten, but nobody knows, of course. And it's mostly eaten by vegetarians and vegans uh, because the insect is fixed on plants, so you can guess what I'm talking uh, about. And it's also mostly eaten by people who go for organic food, because um, in non-organic food uh, they will be killed by insecticides. So, here in this box they are. I just collected them outside. I went like um, for the catch of the day in a field of stinging nettles uh, to, like, to collect them. You can see this field here in this uh, video. There are really high stinging nettles in a beautiful open part inside of a forest so that I'm sure uh, that there are uh, uh, no uh, pol air pollutions there and also you should pay attention that n no bird droppings uh, are left on the leaves of these uh, stinging nettles and as you probably know stinging nettles you can eat also you can make some kind of spinach uh, from it but now I'm taking the top of these uh, uh, stinging nettles and I shake them inside of this uh, paper bag that you see and of course all the little insects that live on these stinging nettles they now fall into this uh, paper bag and that's what I'm talking about. This is probably the most uh, often eaten edible insect um, in uh, Europe and in the USA. It's the so-called aphids. This is not of course a species, a single, but it's a huge group of very tiny insects, uh, around 4,500 are described something now. So let's see whether, we, whether they all still live now here in this box where I just put them here. Yeah, they are sitting on the leaves. So let's see whether we can. They are so tiny from one millimeters to around, the biggest are around 10. So let's see whether we can show you some pictures of them. They are sitting here on this leaf and just uh, trying to suck out juice from this leaf, but that is not easy in this stage because uh, the leaf is already picked away from the stem of the plant and there's no sap flow inside of this uh, inside of this leaf anymore. So they're trying. Uh, of course to suck out the sap but they will not succeed because there is no sap anymore inside but even though they're used to do it so that they, they go on doing uh, that. Very tiny. Let's see whether I can make some pictures also with a macro lens to just in the next uh, some second to show you uh, a big herd of this uh, tiny insect that you find everywhere where you find plants. You find them on the roses, on cabbage, on each type of plant, trees, needles and deciduous trees, whatever. And one of the specialty is that they do not uh, want to suck out the sweet fat from the photosynthesis with the sugar inside. That's what they don't need. They are only in it for the amino acids. They want to suck out the protein in the sap of the plant and therefore they work together with some bacteria inside of their own body that filter out the amino acids for them so that they can expel the excess water and sugar in little drops. And these drops are called honeydew. They are collected by ants and of course also collected by honeybees and it's a special uh, honey coming from that. We also call it uh, forest honey in Europe. It's mostly uh, in the color more brownish than uh, yellow. 
Uh, in the earlier times, in the medieval times, people believed that the aphids come with a special rain from the sky, it's the Nefer rain, it was called in, in German. So it was believed that these honey drops, honeydew drops on the leaf, they attract also these aphids. And uh, that's one of the stories about the aphids. It's uh, often asked in some, some forums, can we eat them? Are they edible? There's no sign that uh, aphids from edible plants are poisonous. And I say from edible plants because of, of course they also aphids are living on poisonous plants and there it can happen that with the sap of the plant they also suck in the poisonous uh, material from the plant. So I wouldn't eat of course uh, bacteria from poisonous uh, plants. But this one here on that leaf of uh, stingy nettle, who this is a good uh, protein shake. And if you know my friend Rüdiger Nebeck, there's a video also in this uh, channel with an interview with him, uh, although in German. So uh, he would eat that black raw, for example, the whole stingy nettle leaf. Of course, if you eat a stingy nettle leaf like this, it would be probably very hot on your tongue also. <laughs> yeah, aphids, the most eaten insect uh, in the Western world where everybody said, no, no, I don't eat insects, never. I would never, never try them. Everybody has eaten them in thousands and millions uh, already inside of uh, salads, inside of vegetables, uh, especially uh, where you pick uh, organically grown uh, herbs that you do not wash, uh, that's the one of the uh, things that can happen. And also, if you want to collect them, why not try and cook them? But uh, I will do that, but probably a little later in one of the next programs, we will try to cook with this uh, aphid catch of the day. Thanks for watching.